Hello everyone, this is a quick video demonstration of the out-of-box experience based on Fresno State's current test configuration in Microsoft Autopilot. So coming up is the region selection and following that is the keyboard layout. And you may have already noticed that whenever I speed up the video to save time, I'll try to indicate that on the top right hand side. So this next screen coming up is what you will see if your device has been added to autopilot correctly. You'll see the welcome to Fresno State as shown here and an area for you to enter your mail.fresno state email address. So the screen coming up next is what you'll get if you try to use an account that has not been authorized for this process yet. So let's go ahead and go back to the previous screen and enter the correct address that's been authorized for this process. Once you've logged in with an authorized account, the next screen gives you a little more detail as to what your computer is doing in terms of setup. Policies for configuration such as encryption, required software, and OneDrive setup will be applied. In the bottom of this screen here, you'll notice that button continue anyway. That is something you can turn on or off. So at the login screen, you'll notice it's the email address that it's asking for, not the username. So you have to use the mail.fresnostate.edu address. So you'll see what happens when I try to use the ccfresno.edu. It will not work. As I'm changing the email address back to mail.fresnostate.edu, please keep in mind that this account has not been cached into this computer at all. So again here at the very bottom you notice that continue anyway button. That does not bypass um, any configuration policies or required softwares from being installed. It just allows you to get into Windows to do maybe um, if the user needs access to email real fast, they can just get in there, open the web browser, access email, um, and then everything else that's required will be applied in the background. Right here, I'm going into Company Portal. Company Portal is one location where you can go to manually kick off the syncing of the device. And what that does, it pulls configuration and policy changes on the cloud to the computer and also sends some information from the computer to the cloud. Right now, um, OneDrive is updating, but I do have a policy that has OneDrive automatically log in with an account that's been logged into the computer and then redirects desktop documents and pictures to OneDrive. This pretty much concludes the video I have on Microsoft Autopilot and the out of box experience. Before I end this video, I'll show you that this VM is running on my machine at home, not on the campus network. You should see in a bit. Yep, AT&T Internet. And it will also bring up command prompt to show you that it's not getting any VPN IP address of some sort. And there you go. I hope this video helped answer some questions you have about autopilot and thank you for watching.